Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Growing Together. Happy Winterfest, everyone. It is a finally Winterfest for the Blake household. It feels so weird because I feel like I never say their last name. <laughs> I'm always saying just their first names. But it's Winterfest, and here Kenneth is just having some baby girl time. Who is he holding? Oh, Kenny, Kenny. That, this is his little twin right here, literally. <laughs> I love her. She is awake and happy and ready to play. He literally couldn't even drop a deuce without her rushing in here. Like, it's it's Winterfest. <laughs> it's Winterfest, Dad. Let's go. It's open present. We're going to pick up. Jorlin from Barbie and just say oh come here happy winter fest and she's gonna ask Barbie like what do you all want to eat today and Barbie's just like oh Lola like let's just relax like relax for a little bit fussy feeling everything about that fussy old look is a no no for Kenneth should he confess that he dislikes boho I don't know I don't even think he was dressed as boho like what is this we actually managed to convince Minnie to dress up with us so we're kind of like in this black and white theme it's kind of cute or whatever and um yeah so let me just have let's eat some breakfast i give the girls something small let's give some food to or actually let's come over here snacks grab food for kenny and then what can we get her just something small you know like just to tie them over until we cook like a big breakfast probably just some bananas let's pick up jorlin from barbie and and go go you use the bathroom you gotta get ready to open presents <laughs> Okay, and then let's have Kenny come out here. Come on, everyone's in the bathroom right now. I love it, I love it. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. Even though they're toddlers, they still look like babies to me. We will open presents in a second, and let me tell you, they are so excited to open presents. And Barbie is in her third trimester, so we don't know when she's gonna go into labor, so we will be having a baby this episode. Let's go ahead and let's just like admire the lights. Let's have Minnie uh, sit right here. Carlo wants to go to the festival. No, we're not going to the festival right now, dude. <laughs> like just chill out for a second. Lola is going to give Barbie the um, knitted onesie that she knitted for um, the new baby. And why is she all the way over there? She really had to step all the way over there. Okay, well, I, it works. It's whatever, it works. <laughs> like, let's just, hey. And then let's open presents with sister. Come on, Jora, let's open presents. Oh, so cute. Oh my goodness. Go ahead, open the presents, baby. Let's have Minnie sit back here. Oh, look at them. It's raining on Winterfest. Isn't that something? Oh, it's just like so wintry. No, she is not. No, she, look at that big fart. <laughs> this is a photo. And he got a train set cargo car. Okay, cool. And what about Jor? She is using her diaper. That's what she's doing. Okay, let's get some festive like interactions going on here while they figure out what they want to do because I don't know what they want to do. Um, Let's uh, share Winterfest spirit. So, so. Aren't you just so excited? And let's do a belly laugh. Oh, so Jorlin got the a little doctor set. Okay, my little doctor. Oh no, she needs a diaper change bad. Oh, she needs a diaper change. Let's go ahead and have many open presents with Barbie and Kenneth. And for me, this will actually be, um, you know, all of them opening their gifts that they got each other. So here you see a new computer monitor. And then there's also a new computer for Kenneth. And I'm about to cheat up knees because come on, y'all. Like, it's Winterfest. Oh, we can't get to it. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just say we got a new computer and... <laughs> Well, let me just tell you this, okay? Kenneth totally opened this box and he's going to lay a fat one on, and fat with a PH, <laughs> with, with uh, Barbie. He's gonna give her a suave kiss. He is going, why do y'all have to go outside every time you want to interact? I know my living room is not that small. Y'all are making me feel bad. <laughs> y'all are making me feel bad. Oh, babe, come here. I love you. You are just, you know what to do. You know me. I'm gonna call them back in because it looks ridiculous with them in the rain. Let me give you a big kiss. Kenneth just opened his computer and he is just going to say, oh, babe, you know me so well. I love you so much. Come here. Let's kiss under the mistletoe. You're the best. 
Thank you. I love it. And I have something. He's going to enthuse about the processing power. Like, this is the exact thing I wanted. Well, maybe he built it himself, though. Maybe she just got him, like, all the parts. I can't imagine him buying, like, a store bought play us at PlayStation PC. I feel like he'd build it. And then he's going to say, but I have something for you, babe. And um, let's actually, like, since we can put this in our inventory, let's actually give it to her. Okay, you all know that she wanted to vlog and do all of that stuff. You all know from the last episode. So he's going to give her Winterfest gift. And here he can actually give her the drone. Well, I know how much you said you wanted to, you know, make some lifestyle vlogs with your painting or even your mommy vlogs. Here you go. I love it so much, babe. It's amazing. She better really love this. Oh, she really loves it. I'm so excited. Yes. She's like, I love you so much. Lola can't take it anymore. She wants to cook. She's like, all right, we have to eat now. Like, everybody, eat, eat, eat. <laughs> eat it's time to eat so lola was born in sulani and lived there for a while and then she was somewhat raised in mount komorebi so she has some mount komorebi ties and then of course she moved back to sulani but i tell you that because she's going to cook up some ami rice for everyone ami rice is like a japanese dish and i've never had it but i love learning about like Japanese culture and foods and all that stuff so that and if you didn't know and if you're new here that is why my name is spelled like that like ocean is not spelled like the actual ocean is spelled a little different because it has like a little Japanese ins influence on it I can't get my words together ah I love it this feels like home. oh my goodness what <laughs> Oh, happy winter fest. Back pain. It hurts. The weight of the baby is pulling on Barbie's back. And she has gone oh, into labor. Oh, this would have been perfect for me to add in that mod. Panda Sam's birth mod that everyone's on right now. And I'm the only YouTube creator that's not using it. Like, <laughs> look, we're going to have a baby the old fashioned way. Okay, we're going to have it here at home because I do not feel like going to the hospital. I just don't. I just can't. I can't even bear it. I can't go to the hospital. Don't want to travel. Wicker work bassinet. We've never used this one. We used the other one that we got from the baby shower last time i'm gonna use this one look what it says the first sentence this worker bassinet is just like your newborn soft cute and eco-friendly wait are babies eco-friendly what <laughs> oh look at this rainbow one. Oh, i love it okay this one's really cute so i'm gonna do this one because it has a green it kind of matches our thing poor barbie she's literally in labor we didn't even get to show them their biggest gift so their biggest gift for winter fest <laughs> is this baby right here this big little playhouse so unfortunately everyone just got wrapped up with barbie um going into labor now oh i just saw kenneth running so yeah he's like okay let me hurry up and get this clean let's let's just do this and Minnie's just like, it's okay. She's going to be all right. Barbie, although she's in pain, she's not going to let this ruin anything. <laughs> we need to show the girls this cute little surprise, okay? And what's wrong with you, Kenny? Don't want to. She doesn't want to get her diaper changed. Oh, little girl, you better calm your nerves. One thing about Lola, she spoils her grandbabies, her great-grandbabies, but you don't play with her. Kenny just refused to get her diaper changed. And, um... Lola, unlike Kenneth and Barbie, is not going to be calm. She's going to be firm. Do not, do not do that, okay? Not today, baby. Not today. <laughs> not today. Everyone's so stinky, including Barbie herself. No, that's not Barbie. Oh, look at this, girls. Come on in here. Play with Jorlin. This is so cute. Come on, come play in your new um your playhouse. Oh, I love their reaction to that. Oh wait, she stinks. She's the stinky one. What's all this funk right here? Who is it? I don't, I can't tell who's responsible. Okay, let me get my camera out because you know that I have to take a picture. I always wanted one of these when I was little. True story. And I just knew that I would never ever get one. Like we had a backyard and everything, but these were expensive back then, okay? <laughs> if you had one of these, I just, I just assume that you're rich, okay? I'm just kidding, I, I don't know. But um, we have a permanent green uh, funky smell here. Oh wait, what is this? Dispose of dead plant. It's a dead plant. The whole time I'm thinking it's someone's stinky, but it's a dead plant. I've never had that before. Wow, sis, we're gonna create the best memories in here. We have our own little house. This playhouse was made by Hey Harry and it works the same as the um, play tent that came with the Dream Home Decorator game pack. And what I love about this interaction with this thing in general is that the toddlers and kids can see what they're playing with, but when you switch to an adult it fades away so we don't even see what, what they're imagining and I just think that is the coolest thing ever the girls are gonna have a really good nap it's like 4 p.m already I literally did not know that it's 
<laughs> it's so late. Like, oh my goodness. And they're still in their pajamas. Oh, there we go. See? I think because she's already had a baby before that I'm just like, yeah, go ahead and have the baby whenever you're ready, girl. We'll be waiting. Push. You can do this. Let's bring, yay, our baby boo. Oh, I'm so excited. So as you all know, we already have the girls who are named after Barbie and Kenneth and um, our auntie and our mom. So for this child, we are going to put a spin on our dad's name, our brother's name, and I hate to say it, our Uncle Carlo. So we're going to name the baby Crystal. And I know you're probably like, oh my God, what kind of name is Crystal? Like, oh my God, she's going to get joked when he gets in school. Like, Crystal, <laughs> Crisco, Crisco Oil. Like, no, we're not going there. This is Cristo, a mix of Crisanto, Christopher, and Carlo. To be honest with you, I don't want to take everything so seriously in The Sims all the time. I have never used a name like this, and I think it's kind of dope. So we're just going to call him Chris for short, but his name is Cristo. And I would make him a junior, like little Kenneth, but I can't do that because I don't. I really don't know if this is going to be the last baby, but it might be. <gasps> Hi, you. Oh my, oh, my gosh. I can't. I'm going to lose it. Let's have another baby. I can't. I can't believe we have another baby in this household already. We instantly have to change the baby's outfit. What should you wear, baby? You were born on a rainy, rainy day. He was born on Winterfest. That's kind of funny because there are some people that are actually born on holidays and they hate it because <laughs> their birthday and, and the holiday gets kind of like, you know. Okay, so we put him in this outfit. We can dress the baby in the onesie that we have. So we actually could. You know what? Let's just dress the baby in the onesie that Lola gave us because I kind of feel wrong for like, I mean, she she literally sat there and knit a whole onesie. Like, I feel bad. So let me do that and then feed the baby. Oh, I love that we have a little newborn. <laughs> that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right, cool. So then Lola will see that and he'll wear this for a day. It's not the cutest. I'm kidding, it is cute, it is cute. Born on Winterfest. Can you believe that? So what I'm going to do is also mark this on the calendar because I, I don't want to forget this. You know how sometimes I'll like make a mental note on when someone's birthday was because sometimes like my game has glitched before and then I'm like, oh my God, when do they age up again? I have aging on long, not off this time, but I have it on long, but it's still just a really good mental note for me. So Chris's B-Day. So that way I have that. But yeah, aging is on, you all. You all should be really proud of me. They age up into um, adults in 82 days. And it's kind of crazy because I just feel like I need more time. Barbie's very tired from, oh, she's about to nap in the treehouse. Let's have her go to sleep here. I think she fed him. She breastfed him, but I can't remember. So I'll just bottle feed him again one more time. And then, oh, poor Minnie. She is literally just going through it right now. This feels like no man's land down here. We really need to, like, get it together and give Minnie the environment she deserves. This is going to be, like, the kids' playroom area, and I'm still dedicated to making it that. So we're going to change that up. I don't know if I'm going to do that on cam or off cam, but we're definitely going to get to it at some point. I'm going to let everyone take care of their needs, and I will see what's up with them tomorrow. Oh no, we were feeling confident and I was just gonna show you this beautiful painting, but <laughs> our power just got shut off. Well, luckily we do have the money to pay. So let me go ahead and pay our bills. Um, we will not struggle like we did last time. We had to pay our auntie back and everything, but look at how beautiful this painting is. I literally don't wanna sell it. It's only 391 simoleons, so I'm kind of feeling like we shouldn't sell it, but yeah, I think I'm going to like, yeah, like look at that. I just, I'm going to put that in our inventory. We're not that pressed for money. Let's get in a really quick shower and then we are going to go right back on the painting grind. We have to make more money and it is imperative that we do so this episode because my goal is to actually have, um, you know what, let's do, we need a coffee machine. I really feel like we need a coffee machine. I feel like you cannot work in game development and not drink coffee. Am I stereotyping? Probably. I don't even know which kind of coffee maker to get. I don't want to get like the best of the best, but I kind of like want it to be nice. I do want a nice one. Stainless steel auto pod. I like the way this looks, but I need to get some coffee. Kenneth actually has a gig that is going to pay over 7,000 simoleons and we really, really need money, like I said, because we have to move. We have to move. Baby boy is going to be a toddler soon. Like I said, like when he is this little and an infant, I'm okay. But once this kiddo reaches a toddler, we have to be out of here and we need a bigger house. We need a bigger home. But I am okay with him being in here as an infant because I kept my <laughs> babies 
in me and my husband's room until they were like, gosh, probably like 11 months, <laughs> like basically close to being one um, because they are only little during this time, you know, and it's great that they learn how to sleep by themselves and everything. But I just having your baby nearby is is a luxury, to be honest. So. I don't mind if we have to share a room. Ooh, it's the lottery. So because it's the lottery, I'm definitely going to have Minnie play the lottery. You all know, you all know, it's gotta be Minnie. Cause she's, Lola is, is uh, she's keen to it. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win this time. I play every year. <laughs> I am going to win. This is what you said last year, Lola, but hey, it's okay. Whatever whatever it is to make her feel better. So we'll find out if she won the lot lottery. Now, if we win the lottery, I will literally be like ec ecstatic. And then we need Kenneth to come in here and work. He has to start working ASAP. I mean, what he does brings a ton of money to our family. So, I mean, he needs the time, you know? Um, but he's nauseated at these surroundings here because he just changed a dirty diaper. He'll be all right. We're supposed to walk, lady. Okay, no, you want your food. That's what you want. Okay, um, let's fill the bowl. Gosh, does Lola have to do everything for you all? Because seriously, oh my gosh. Girl, you can go. Dad has the baby. Lady needs a walk. Babe, you said you were going to take her out for a walk. You know, you said you wanted to jog, you know, and oh man. She's like, oh, okay, 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 yeah. And she actually wants to take Lady out for a walk because it seems like Kenneth always does it. But she also wants to do that because she wants to kind of like, you know, just get her body moving after giving birth. So we are going to... Wait, why can't we... Okay, she's eating right now, actually. Celebrity level loss. Barbie spent too much time out of the... <laughs> she's not a celebrity anymore. Okay, well, we'll live. We're okay. So we're pulling out the drone. We got it up. Hello. And welcome back to my vlog. So first, I'm going to get some leftovers. Actually, I'm just going to have some um, yogurt today. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I am going to be taking my cute, cute puppy. Um, actually, she's not a puppy. I just call her that. Then I'm going to go for a nice little jog. I just had a baby. And I'm going to go for a jog with mom, my dog. So, <laughs> jog with my dog. <laughs> but, yeah, um, our friend Roxana just said congratulations. Thank you so much, Roxana. Okay, now that he's not feeling squeamish, we can finally work while the baby is sleeping peacefully. We have to hack the National Sim Security Agency. Oh, look at the girls' little playhouse. This is so cute. They're gonna, they should go play in it this morning. It's, like, a really good day, too. Okay, so let's go encourage. What? Lady, where are you? <gasps> Lady. Not, not her following the drone. <laughs> okay. Oh. <gasps> where did the drone go? G Lady, you better get your butt over here. So we are... <sighs> Lady, stop chasing the drone. Okay, she keeps chasing the drone, you know. Um, what do you want to call this video? So this is going to be a day in the life of a mom of three. And Barbie says, I just have my baby boy. And unlike my other pregnancy, I'm going to go out for a jog <laughs> with my dog to get some vitamin D. Not the other D though, Barbie, because the other D got you pregnant, girl. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, let's just go. Where's the drone? I knew we were going to lose a drone. Oh my God, I should have kept up with it. You all, when it comes to the drone, you want to keep up with it. Lady, please tell me you know where the drone is. Yes, I can always count on my dog. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in our inventory. Like right now, we can transfer the videos, but we need that more views video station. So we're probably going to go ahead and get that and put that downstairs. But let's just go ahead and get the baby. Now, one thing Barbie does want to do is she wants to chat with Ruby. Ruby has aged up. She's so cute. I had to keep her same hair that she had when she was a toddler because I think it just fits her so well. I think what would be a good idea is inviting um, or just visiting them, you know, and just chatting with her that way. I'm going to pin this because I really feel like she could be that older, um, good influence for Ruby, especially because Ruby's the oldest. And when we go visit the... Uh, their household, you're gonna be shocked. <laughs> Let me, we're gonna go there, just just stay with me. You're, we're gonna go there. This computer kicked the bucket and I feel so stupid because I forgot that we're supposed to get Kenneth a computer. <laughs> we got him a new computer. I'm thinking that he probably would get something super, super cool, like this baby right here. 
dual monitors, you know, you can't beat it. Nice little setup here. I swear my mind just gets so sidetracked. And then we need to fix this up. Let's just sell, no, not sell, because we could use this bed later. Let's come over here and get that little video station. Where is that? I think it's actually in the miscellaneous electronics. So I'm gonna go here. This thing is so huge. Why can't we get something like, why does everything have to be ginormous, Sims? If I knock out the bathroom, I could place this in this corner. This just gets more and more fun as we play. It's like ridiculous how fun it gets. It's like, how did we manage to make something so stinking unique and like fun? <laughs> how did we do this, you all? I don't get it. Bathroom will be right here. And I actually really like it right here. And I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little you know, ambitious right now, but I'm thinking like some exposed brick right here. It looks kind of nice. And then we'll probably put this little board here. Like maybe she plans her videos or just stuff for the girls, just everything. She she has her own little office, you know, just something, something simple right there. I don't know what I want to put on the back wall just yet. We have our little area here that Barbie can chill in. And then um, I'm not going to bore you all with this episode. I will turn this into a playroom in a minute, but I just want to get that set up for Barbie really quick. Let's go ahead and have Kenneth successfully hack the National Sims security because I totally forgot that hello <laughs> 9 a.m on thursday it is due which is tomorrow and it's going to take a really long time Ooh, it sounds like something is about to blow up kenneth you are scaring me i don't know what this is but we could just resume this while we wait and kenneth can do that and then let's have ooh, be friendly with kenneth look at them playing in their little oh i love it so much they're just playing outside in their little dollhouse Oh, this is just so cute. I love it. Let's just pull out all of the leftovers because we have leftovers that really need to be eaten. We have cheese crackers. We have the Ami rice. Like we have so, we have sausage and biscuits. Look, listen, just have a ball. We have some mac and cheese left. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. Let me move this for Barbie and police this in here for now. We have a lot of stuff that uh everyone needs to eat like right now. So she's just gonna pour, put it all out on the table and just say like, listen, Y'all need to eat, eat something. Oh wait, is something spoiled? Oh, the mac and cheese is spoiled. Oop, don't wanna eat that. And then we need to grab, let's just grab some of this. Let's list this on Plopsy. I just hate that Plopsy takes forever. Like, do you see this? Oh wait, someone wanted this? Someone wanted this. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. It's gonna get to them so late. Oh, well, it's okay. Um, they'll live, they'll, they'll be all right. We, we just gotta go ahead and do this. Abstract paintings sell for a lot. And what? Kenneth hacked National Stem Security Agency and was able to acquire 370 simoleons from their account. Go off Kenneth, that's amazing. Like, look at us making money. Wow, I'm, I'm actually really impressed by that, but he's not done yet. I thought that was going to take longer. I really did because it always takes so long to hack things. Let's go ahead and write this. Check this interaction out. We can sneak a treat for the little ones. This is what I love. This gives elders like, let's sneak a treat. Let's cut all this out and let's just sneak a treat. Oh, she just gave her some candy. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute, happy. Jorlin has no idea how, but the candies from the elders she knows are always plenty full, always tastes better than other candies and are always given at the perfect moment. Hey Kenneth, I think Devin, why does she always ask Kenneth for like advice for who she should date? Yes, go for it, auntie. You sh look, you should be happy. But we are going to head out right when he's finished because then we will get paid and then we can leave. So I did want to leave at three, but it's okay. Great, so he finally, wow, we even got a bonus. Look at how much money we have. We're, we're getting rich, you all, I'm so excited. I seriously love winter in San Sequoia. Like, I just can't get over it. I just feel like it looks so dry and foggy. Not foggy, but just like gray skies. Also, look at our baby girls. Like, I I just can't. I just wanna have more kids. I, oh my gosh, I just, I need to stop. They are just so adorable. Look at them walking up here. So this is Carlo and Angel's house, and I don't believe we come here often. I don't know if we've been here yet in the series, and it looks like Angel is grilling something for us. Oh, she is so sweet. So clearly she just had her baby, which we found out in the last episode because she came back babyless now. <laughs> but little did I know that she was having twins and when i came into the household the babies were already named and i loved what the game chose for them so this is dylan and let me go ahead and give a bottle to dylan and then this is hope i was like oh my gosh this is such a cute name like hope <laughs> 
Um, come over here, feed the baby. Feed the baby, feed the baby. Bottle, feed the baby. Oh, she has the baby, that's why, okay. And it's crazy because it's like, wow, does twins run in our family? I am so glad our last baby, well, I don't even know if it's our last baby. I am so glad Barbie did not have another set of twins because I probably would have screamed, but Angel now has four children. Our family is getting bigger. We could literally make a whole LP just off the generation of kids alone. New family dynamic jokesters. Oh, Minnie and Ruby this time with the jokesters dynamic. Oh yeah, I, I love that. I think that is adorable. Let's do it. Look at him, he's like, what's up, bro? So this house was created by uh, Sim Lissy and originally, I, yeah, it's Sim Lissy. I'll also have it in the description, but I had to um, just kind of like change it up a little bit to match their family now. So that's why it looks a little different. What we're going to do is ask for a ham massage from Angel because she is getting her little hand massage business on. Soon, Angel will also have her own manicure and pedicure business too. So she'll be doing nails and stuff, but she doesn't have that high of a, well a wellness skill. So I got a notification that says Barbie's suspension is over and she can register for courses again, but I really don't know if she will or not because life has just been hard. I think if anything, we'll take one class, one class a semester. Someone suggested that to me. Uh, she still really has a career and a way of income, <laughs> but I guess we could just enroll just because, you know, so let's go ahead and do what we were doing. What were we, what were we doing? Art history? What were we doing? Oh, fine art. We'll do one class and that's it. And that's all we'll do. We'll do it at home and we'll pay with, um, you know what, let's play with our household funds this time. You know, cause I haven't even started paying our student loans. So uh, I might want to get on that, but we'll do one class at a time and we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. That'll be fine. And I want to check on Lola here. Oh, she's like, I really think you should start your business, Angel. You are so good at this. And she's like, yeah, I want to do nails and everything. Carlo got this for me. Oh, Carlo, he got it for you? Yeah. I mean, he owes me. <laughs> I don't even want to know, girl, what happened. Oh, give life lesson on love. Oh, that's not a mod, by the way. I definitely think that's a part of the Growing Together pack. That I love that. Let's give a life lesson on love to him. And you too, son. You two help fix bad relationship. Well, no. You need, then let's think about the lottery to our son. Like, yay, I'm, I might win the lottery. Look at her with all the little kids around. <laughs> this is adorable. I need to take a photo of Ruby because at this point, you're growing way too fast for me. Way too fast. You are so cute. Look at you, Ru. You're getting so big. Oh my gosh. Maybe we can read some books to like everyone. Maybe we can do dog on a log. Ooh, when is winter? Yes, let's do when is winter, especially because it is winter time and we'll read to all the kids. That's the least Barbie could do. Look at her, she's feeling super confident. And I'm kind of glad that we are only enrolling in one class. I actually feel kind of confident about that too. I feel like she'll be able to at least say she got her degree when her girls grow up. And I'm saying girls like we don't have a baby boy at home. When Barbie's kids grow up, she can say, hey, you know, I at least got my degree. I did what I had to do and you can do it too. You know, I, I don't want her to give up on this. Even if it takes forever and she has a stable career, I do not want her to give up on her on her original um, thing that she wanted to accomplish. Even though it's heavily influenced by her parents and what they expect from her, she just wants to at least make them happy. I mean, it's sad because I know her happiness comes first too, but here she's meeting it in the middle, you know? Like she could care less about college, but she does know the benefits of it. And so, you know, hey. You win some, you lose some. But what we're gonna do is, oh wait, Angel had already cooked here, so let's just all like eat together. Let's call everyone to the meal. I think Lola is talking to her son. Like, look, I don't know how you and Angel's relationship is, but you need to make sure you make it right, okay? Because she, she's gonna make money and she's gonna leave you and take the kids. <laughs> she does not need you, okay? Like that is what Lola's trying to warn him. Like she will leave you in a heartbeat when she gets established. So you need to stop taking her for granted and you need to do the right thing. Look at everyone here. Oh, I love this. And I'm gonna have her um, show appreciation to the host. And let's also, deep thoughts, give life lesson on family. Yes, Lola, pick up the pieces and fix everyone so your son can get his ish together because he is clearly crazy. And by crazy, I just mean that I played with them off cam and stirred up some drama, so I know why their relationship is just kind of off. It's just horrible anyway, okay? Um, I'm gonna have Kenneth, uh, and look at Ruby. We might want to like not let's impersonate mermaids with Ruby and be childish because Barbie's childish. <laughs> oh, Angel just left the table. Oh gosh. 
Oh, that's so sweet. I love how we just had a family dinner here. Like, I this gameplay with this Let's Play just always makes me want to do stuff with the family like I could care less about the touties and everything I was like I just want to do all this stuff we actually rode back with Ruby and brought her to the house because what I want to do is plan a stay over I just feel really bad I feel like she you know she's kind of going unnoticed she has little siblings she just her mom just had two twins and she's just kind of stuck in the middle of everything and she's such a sweet girl so she's gonna you know just gonna be here for a night so I'm gonna plan a stay over for probably just one night you know just tonight i think that'll be cool let's just see how it goes you know boom let's just start it right now <laughs> and i'm going to give her a look look at her little backpack she's like all right i got my stuff oh that's so cute look at her little backpack what are we telling her <gasps> i think she was like venting like thank you for letting me stay like oh my gosh mom and dad always argue and it's just really annoying. No you know, like kids are kind of simple. She's like, it's just really annoying. I'm just gonna have Barbie transfer those videos to the video station really quick from the drone so we can edit them and get our first video up, <laughs> you know? Just something small. It's so cool because it had our friend here, what was her name? What was her name again? Aubrey, not tell us about the whole vlogging thing since she is this influencer, then we probably wouldn't have never thought to do something like this. And so, you know, we're gonna complete college and everything, but I definitely know that there's more in store for Barbie than we know. Oh boy, Fear the Pufferfish 89. Oh, I think someone wants to buy our paintings. So let's go ahead and, whoa, wants to buy it for over a thousand. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We are going to stay up late. Let's go ahead and edit our video. And this is going to be Barbie's first video, so it may not be perfect. You know, it may not be amazing, but we're gonna get there. Kenneth is playing some video games, having some me time playing The Refuge. I don't even blame you, dude, you know? And our baby boy here, Chris, is just chilling. He's happy. And what are the girls doing? I don't even know. Well, they're happy too. I love how Lola just gave her a gingerbread cupcake from <laughs> from Winterfest. She is enjoying that. And is she going to wash her dish after? Oh, she's just going to put it there. Girl. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Peace out.